Did a little more digging, and it looks to be a stab to the neck. Not 100% though. Well, yeah, he is in critical condition, apparently, so it, it definitely wasn't just like a, a light stab somewhere. It had to be in a pretty vital spot. Did you see Ian Watkins is in critical condition after being stabbed? Whoa. Wait, what? Oh my god, yeah. This is... I can't believe it took this long. Ian Watkins is the guy I made that video about, the most evil singer in music history. He's one of the biggest pedophiles the music industry's ever had. Literally raped a baby. He used to have women bring children for him to rape. Literal, just pure evil. I had no idea he just got stabbed. And I, again, I can't believe it's taken this long. He's been in jail for quite a while. Let's read. He'd been taken hostage by three other inmates. Prison, a prison service spokesperson said police are investigating an incident which took place on Saturday. We are unable to comment further while the police investigate. Hmm, so not a ton of info about it right now. Uh, you, won't, you won't see me crying over him getting stabbed. Hey, that shit is long overdue. That needs to be time off the inmate sentence, honestly. That, that's that's some like good that's a good deed right there. How long did he get? Twenty nine years, which is crazy. For years upon years of child sex offenses, including the fucking attempted rape of a baby. And a lot more, by the way. That's even in here as well. They even mentioned that. Cause it's so fucking appalling. I don't know how it was only 29 years. Not our justice system, it's a- it, I don't think he's in any of our jails, right? He's from Wales and I'm pretty sure he got sentenced in Wales and is imprisoned over there, let me see. I- I actually don't remember now. Unless I missed it in the article. HMP Wakefield. Where's that? Yeah, oh, West Yorkshire, England. Is that 29 years with or without probation? I don't remember now. Regardless, it's it wasn't a, a big enough sentence for the crime. He's a tier one rusty. The dude's... Pe I covered all this in the video, so I don't want to just keep repeating myself. But the password to his laptop was, I shit you not, I fuck kids lol. That was his laptop password. He was an open pedophile, and tons of people knew about it for years, and did nothing. When asked about, like, the attempted rape of a baby, he said he did it for the mega lols. Thanks to Resub Soto. No way he said that. He did! I can't remember if he said mega lols or mega lolzors. But one of the two. It was mega lols. Yep. Here's the statement. Gonna put out a statement on the 18th just to say it was mega lols. I don't. I do not know what everybody is getting so freaked out about. The tier one, oh Jesus, the tier three Linny. Thank you, Linny. What's your opinion on the Tron movies? Haven't seen them in a very long time. This has been all over the news here in Wales as like a celebration thing. Yeah, no, I didn't hear about it till chat brought it up. It also just happened at two hours ago, so it's like super fresh. But yeah, him getting stabbed is pretty mega lols. Did a little more digging and it looks to be a stab to the neck. Not 100% though. 
Well, yeah, he is in critical condition, apparently, so it, it definitely wasn't just, like, a, a light stab somewhere. It had to be in a pretty vital spot. Ian's own dad said he'd be charged with murder if he ever saw him in person again. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just can't believe more people didn't blow the lid on it. He only really got caught because of drug-related stuff. Not even the pedophile shit. Even though a ton of people knew about it. I'm not saying his dad did. I, I, I imagine his dad probably didn't. Is he like a singer or something? I'm just repeating a lot of what I said in, about the, in the video I made about this whole situation with this guy. He was the lead singer of Lost Prophets, which used to be one of, well, used to be my favorite band. So this is a story that I followed very closely when it happened. It was so fucking sad. So now I can't listen to their music anymore. It's fucking gross. Those songs went real hard, too. I used to use their music in a lot of my videos. I made my own website when I was a kid on Pixel, and I used their music everywhere. Exit tier one. Minus. Separate the art from the artist. That's actually, so I actually used to use this case as an example of why that's almost impossible to do in some cases. Because in a lot of cases, the artist is the soul of the art. So one of the songs they made, it's called A Little Town Called Hypocrisy. And the music video to that song is legitimately him bragging about fucking kids. You can't really separate him from the music. Nobody caught on after a song like that? No, like... It wasn't until, hindsight's always twenty twenty. it wasn't until all this where people were like, wow, this is fucked up. Like, and you go back and look at the music video to the song with a totally different lens, because now you know the guy behind it and it changes everything. Even though it's like blatant. It's just not what you think about. Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja went so fucking hard. That whole album did. Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja was great. I first found them through NFL Street with last, with a last train home. And then they still had Start Something too, which was huge. That album was massive. Thanks, Arisa Bluey. Did the people who didn't come forward also get charged? No. But two of the parents did. Two moms, or at least... Two moms involved in this case got arrested because he used to ask his fans that had children to bring him their children so he could rape them. And two moms did that. And they both got charged. Thanks to two gift subs, Brash. In the tier one G-Man. But yeah, this is good news though. He's finally been stabbed. I'll keep you updated on if he pulls through or not.